Here you can see a Memberium powered uh, WordPress site. Um, in a moment, I'll show you the Learn Dash course that's uh, behind it. Uh, but yeah, I want to say the essence of uh, any membership site, it's got to be pleasant, has to have a nice design. Uh, in our case, it matches our Larry Jacob WWW site's uh, look and feel. Uh, but the whole point of this is that you have a login screen, um, you have a forgot password, basic functions. Uh, and then we always reserve some space for promoting something. Um, this is for illustration, so we're just telling a little bit about what um, we might be learning here. Uh, but this is a great place to put some sort of announcement uh, or to um, encourage people who aren't members to, um, to learn more about, about this and maybe have this click over into some sort of a sales page. Now, uh, when we log in here, um, we actually return to the same page. You'll see that the URL doesn't change. It's the same one. Um, but uh, we have some, we're using some short codes that I'll illustrate in the next couple lessons so that uh, now this becomes your course dashboard. So we have one course, it's um, made up of three parts, I'll show you that in a second. But now you have a login message. Now this just happens to have the same image, but um, what uh, you can do here is have messages that are geared or aimed at the people who are already members, uh, just so that um, you, know, you can upsell them, inform them of maybe changes, or you know, maybe to encourage them on something because they're logged in now as Membarium users, you know exactly what courses they've taken, how far they are through the course, so you can also use this to deliver uh, customized messages based upon what, um, you know, what part of the course or what status they have based on um, you know, what they've accomplished in the course. Now when we do this, we also have this additional drop-down box, which mirrors this, this is just kind of to help with navigation. Now, when I go and I select here, you'll see how uh, we've configured Learn Dash. So we have a one course with three lessons. So this is pretty much the hierarchy that we're following. And as you can see, this uh, is the course, the lesson title, and these are the topics that are available underneath there. So if I click down through here, you'll see that uh, each one of these has you know a, a certain number of topics associated with them. Uh, for this last one uh, that I'm using to illustrate something in a moment, um, we just added one topic to it. So and, and you can access each one of these this way, um, or you can um, you know, view this on the side. We always make the logout available um, you know, so that it's easy to get in and out of the course uh, with no problem. Um, but you want it to just have a real pleasant feel um, you know, making it easy for people to get to the content that they want and make it really easy for people to, uh, uh, wherever they are in the course, be able to, to get easily oriented, and they can with this, um, it, you know, and, and accomplish whatever they want. Uh, we've also got this navigation that allows you to, um, you know, go across the lessons. Uh, this is actually provided uh, by Learn Dash itself, so you can go backwards and forwards. So I'll go back over to the third uh, lesson here. Um, now the pers th this login, this contact has access to lesson one and lesson two. We're allowing them to uh, view the layout for lesson three, this one. However, they don't have access, so when they click on the topic where the content is, we send them to a sales offer page, and I haven't put anything in here, but the point is, this is where you can come up and say something like, hey, this, ac this uh, material is only available to paid users, um, and encourage them to uh, you know, take the next step. So you could put an order page link here so that they can get access to it, and then they can come back and get the course. So you have a captive audience in here, since they are consuming your material, so you may as well take advantage of that, show them material that they don't have access to, and then offer a sales page. Now, one thing that, that I could have done here um, in this environment is I could have put maybe a, a gray out here or maybe uh, just give a different color or tone to this page. Uh, maybe I could put a lock here or a lock here using uh, some style sheet work 
and that way people can see it and it's kind of has a forbidden fruit sort of approach um, so um, this is a, a run through of the site in the next lesson I'll kind of go behind the scenes and show you how we've implemented this